Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at three players that will most likely be ranked in the top 10 on the next PGR, if not top 5. Salem, Tweak, and Void have shown that even though they are currently ranked 11th, 12th, and 13th respectively, at the top of their game they can win an S tier event. First up, we're going to be taking a look at how they've been doing at S tier events this season. Up first, Salem shows dominance with two first place finishes at S tier events. This might be the second time in Smash 4 history that there has been a debate that Zero might not be the best in the game. Even though he didn't keep up with the first place finishes, he stays within top 8 of every event he entered except for GTX. This consistency must be applauded because before GTX, only he and Nairo could attest to being able to do so. Tweak has shown some shaky finishes such as his placings at Super Smash Con and GTX, but he still boasts incredible wins throughout the season and gathered nice finishes when he was able to make it into top 8 with a nice 2nd, 3rd, and 4th place finish. Void is someone who might be written off due to him not making it into top 8 all the time, but his run at DreamHack Atlanta showed the peak Void is something only a frame 1 air dodge could beat. While he and Tweak suffered the same placings when they didn't make top 8, they showed that even on their worst days, they aren't far off the mark with both their worst finishes at S tier events being 17th. Now let's take a look at their best showings this season. We'll start off with Salem's incredible run at EVO this year. Before top 8, he picks up wins on Nakat and Fallen. After falling to Larry in winner's semis, he cleans up by gathering wins on not only Ken, Tweak, and Larry, but he boasts winning two sets on zero. Outside of Super Smash Con, this might be one of the strongest runs we've seen so far in Smash 4 history. Next up is Tweak's run at Shine. He picks up three wins on top 10 players and also Salem, who's estimated to be within the top five at the moment. His losses come from cl a close set with Ally before top eight and a 1-3 loss against Zero in Grand Finals. This event showed Tweak's ability to garner wins on almost every top player, with him collecting his Zero win somewhere else at low tier City 5. Lastly, we have Void at DreamHack Atlanta. After defeating MVD in pools, he moves on to Sam Sora, who was fresh off a win with Zero. After that, he conquers Tweak, Larry, and Ally to make it to Grand Finals winner's side. He, sadly, he drops two sets to Salem to finish at second at this S tier event. To close out the video, let's take a look at how these three players do against the top 50. Salem actually has the highest win rate amongst all ranked players against the top 50 at 75%, only falling behind zero. More than half of his top 10 wins come from zero and Nairo alone. He does, however, have negative records with MK Leo, Captain Zack, and Mistake. Salem shows us the true epitome of consistency as he has not dropped a set to someone outside of the top 20, excluding Mistake, who will most likely be ranked in the top 20 on the next PGR. Tweak's record looks a little shaky at first until you realize his record against Zero is 1-6, and, and that is almost a third of his losses to top 50 players alone. The only other person he currently has a losing record with in the top 10 is Ally. Tweak's record looks a little shaky at first until you realize his record against Zero this season is 1-6, and, and that is almost a third of his losses to top 50 players alone. The only other person he currently has a losing record with in the top 10 is Ally. Another thing that's important to note is, of the 7 losses he has for players that are ranked 11 to 20, 3 are from Void and 3 are from Salem. He also has some non-PGR losses, those being Thunder and Konga. Finally, we get to Void. He actually has a higher win rate overall against ranked players than Tweak, but he also has 3 non-PGR losses to Konga, Tyroy, and Light. He currently holds a winning record over Larry, Captain Zack, and Komarakiri. Outside of his extreme losses, we see he fares quite well against the upper echelon of players. The Big House 7 is going to be an exceedingly important tournament for Tweak and Void to cement themselves as top 5 members considering the two haven't always been the most consistent. Salem will most likely add to his resume, only adding more to the argument that he could be number 2 in the world right now. Check out the Big House 7 this weekend to see how the rankings get shaken up once again. I'm Co-op and thanks for watching.